How are you feeling about drilling into a carbon fiber frame? Uh, <laughs> not great, but I really don't have a horse in this race. I mean, she's already fucked. You're not going to fuck it anymore. Right? Gentlemen, welcome, uh, rather, Heeren. Uh, herrlich willkommen in der Werkstatt. We got a, we got a bit of an emergent fucking gency here. Old ladies clutching their pearls. Matter of life and death. Worse. We got a mechanical contrivance getting in the way of a good time. And the worst kind of mechanical contrivance. A German engineered mechanical contrivance. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, you gotta pour your overstuffed sausage meat carcass into uh into a German automobile as soon as you start breaking down you might as well light the thing on fire with the money you're going to spend on spare parts this is that grab your gets a gander at this piece of shit I love munching too but you're going to want to look away for this one look at this so this is a shock mount bolt it's actually not a bolt it's a pin and the shock mounts to it chairman engineered horror of horrors for lightness not for strength of mine they are losing and losing aluminum some designer thought this was a good idea this is a shock for a rear four bar link suspension on a mountain bike out of aluminum but the thing is when these when these compress all the way you get this shock loaded and you're looking at but uh blonde one over a quarter inch of meat there you'd kind of want something slightly more skookum than aluminium not only that but look at the machining oil you couldn't just use a bolt no no you got to use a sleeve and you got to use a chamfer wedge and another and m8 not by 1.25 normal you know toyota's worldwide use them so they're ubiquitous 1.0 thread pitch and in the end of her goes this little screw what for keeping cables attached and this is an oddball it looks like cannon it's a rape oh let me get rid of Duclos felching tube here incriminating evidence the jeezless dude goes through so many of these yeah, like you ain't never smelled before a radon brand radon uh, all the way from the confederation helvetica of course the proper name for switzerland from well tobe so uh, you've heard of carbon offsets what i do uh, that was so 2010 i do scumbag offsets to make myself uh, feel better about being such a fucking scumbag so uh came across this nice lady on the chairlift with my wife we were going up uh, on the, this past saturday you're going hurtling down a mountain on one of these two-wheeled uh, devil contrivances and uh, i got to talking to this nice lady she was on holidays for eight weeks no less with her boyfriend but he was having a trouble in that something was wrong with a shock and shockingly enough that craptacular aluminium pin busted clean half in two and the worst part is it wallered out the hole what it went into i don't know what we're going to do here but we got to get him on the road because he's way far outside of whistler zone and uh, i've been putting out psas to never come to british columbia because it fucking sucks the only thing going for it is it's got nobody in it and there's a reason for that because it fucking sucks so we got to get this back guy back to Whistler. And we know it failed, but we need to get to the root. A little Australian joke there. Yeah, you got to throw them cunts a bone once in a while. We, uh, we need to get to the root cause so that we can prevent it from happening in future. Looking at the pin now. This is a threaded pin, not a bolt. A bolt is clamping something. This is not clamping anything. It's taking up shear. So it's a pin and we can see... No, we can't. Focus, you fuck. Da. Conchoidal marks are beach marks, some guys call them. Bench marks. I don't know what the fuck a beach mark even is, but apparently some southern states call it that. You can see these conchoidal marks like a the shell of a clam. Not that kind of clam. And it slowly broke. So this is fatigue. This didn't happen in one shot. So we're likely uh, hucking himself off. 
12 foot gap jumps in when he bottomed out the you know when you bottom out somebody normally yells yelp but in this case this guy yelped and broke little bits off until the there was nothing left but the crying and she broke clean half and two and then the other the, the part the fresh part fretted up against here and then this guy the threaded part it uh, sat in the bore and chowdered the bore all the rat shit and further to that in service you can see it's been fretting on the one side picked up some of the du teflon the, the garlock bearing in here and actually chowdered up the bearing a little bit we gotta replace this pin with something far more skookum i pause it to you what is the point of having the cock and balls of a bull moose if you can't swing them around once in a while unfortunately ma we're gonna we're gonna turn some some bits on this unfortunately ma this is despite being manufactured in beautiful half lax angle ant it is an SAE lay. They don't have the change gears for metric. For instance, uh, if I'm going to go to uh, 8 millimeter M8 uh, 1.25, because I can't get the 1.0, some oddball thread form, can't get that, I would need 23 point something, maybe 5 uh, threads per inch to equate to that 125. Ain't going to happen. So I'm not able to turn the threads on this. What we're going to do instead is use an off-the-shelf bolt and something something Healy coil that's the cockford ollie not really but it's the best option we got even the bolts they get the m8 125 matching the Healy coil even the bolt length 45 millimeters what the fuck over how you feeling about drilling into a carbon fiber frame uh <laughs> Not great, but I really don't have a horse in this race. I mean, she's already fucked. You're not going to fuck it anymore. Right? International relations being what they is, I don't want to look like more of a bumblefuck than I already do. I got the dick in the vice there. Yeah. Takes after me. It's a grower, not a shower. We're going to go... It's calling for a 2164 uh, hole size, but I want that to be as small as possible so it's got as much meat on the peripheral as possible now we're going to go in with an eight millimeter which is three point uh one four so it's a little it's a little shy come on you piece of shit a little machinist trick we'll give ourselves a fighting chance yeah, champ fear that hole just to get the tap in. Slide the tip of her in easy. Healy coils are thread repair kits. Essentially, you drill the, the hole oversize and then you tap it so that the outside of these thread in with this here tool. The kit has everything. The kit, big bucks because it's Healy coil, but these are off patent now. You get these from the usual scumbags. Not a bad thing to have around. And we'll even, for perspicacity's sake, even give her the proper flavor of schmoo. What's the difference with cotton oil for aluminum? It's got no sulfur in it because sulfur reacts with the aluminum, corrodes it. Now, the time it takes to tap a hole, how much corrosion you're going to get? About that much. But in any case, we got it. We might as well use it. All right, now we got our threaded hole. <laughs> Yeah, it'll, it'll come to. And you take your little tool here and flap the dingus end on her. And then she locks in. Eh, a little tab there. You just have to take my word for it. And then go to your home. Long been advocating first time tight, second time all right. But in this case, we're, uh, we're going to do something crazy, I think. We're going to go and use the drill bit. The manufacturer recommended. <laughs> yep, for a little drill index roulette. These are Walter drill bits. They're fantastic at taking legal tender and turning them into hot metal chips and twisted, busted steel. Look at that. 2164. Buy a lottery ticket. Now you gotta have a feather touch on this. You're gonna wanna pull out if you if you feel it coming. It's, it's gonna suck in because we're 
taken just a tiny little chip so it's gonna do the old uh, the threaded nail routine. Now you gotta be careful anytime you're just taking about a, about a whiff of a cut. I might even clean that out with some family planning in a can and make your dingus fall off. And then give that a try. I might even, why, why not? Why not? We got the tool, let's use it. Okay. There we go. Going right in. Now because this is a through hole, we're not going to break that tab off. We'll just end up putting the insert in through the other side. So we won't break that tab off right off the hop. What we can do though, put a bolt in there. Ha, like store-bought. If you're the least bit Teutonic, you're gonna wanna look away. We got the inch standard drill, but we're gonna peel back the dirndl. She ain't ever gonna be the same, partner. We'll uh, hit the shave her head and leave her by the side of the <laughs> What, too soon? What's a, what's a hate crime between friends? This is a blind hole as well, meaning it doesn't go all the way through. So I do not, I do not want to go through this carbon fiber frame. Oh God. Oh, like a hot dog now, hallway. Whoever was in here previous, I'm not pointing any fingers at, at uh, bike mechanics, but they're not well known for their machining prowess. Full disclosure though, I'm not well known for my brake pad changing prowess. Okay, so we're in there and she's wallered right out now. That, uh, that tap ought to just slide right in. Every stage of the game here wrought with uncertainty and self-loathing. Story of my life. That's, uh, oh, fuck. You know, if I had a bike, a proper bike stand, that might help as well. Instead, I gotta be tapping a thread on a compound bend. Come on, Schwartz. Oh, she's biting. We're in. We're in. Oh, yeah. Fuck me. That fucking sketchy is furry. Okay, I can hear that carbon fiber biting. So I don't want to pull that insert right clean out. Oh, fuck. Sketchy. Did we go deep enough? Only she can say for sure. We're going in with a semi-civilized civilized thread form here. At least the uh, at least you can get a bolt pin. Sorry, threaded pin. What'll fit that thread form? For Jesus sucks. She's going in. Well. <laughs> All right, it worked. Now what the fuck? <laughs> we got the dam in estrus. Now we got to milk the stud. Don't Google it. Uh, I could do some goofy Chinese hardware grade bolt, which would still be stronger than that aluminium. Recall the hierarchy of materials: constain tunglide at the very tippy top, wood at the bottom, and betwixt the between. Aluminium. It's going to look goofy if I make it out of a bolt because it won't be as long. It'll have this little... I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll keep this in reserve and I'll make it out of chrome, either titanium if I got it or chrome ollie if I don't. I got to make sure I got the, um, the proper die here at home. Deep in my heart I have a special seething hatred of cheap taps and dies. Busting them. I already have them too. But they do come in handy for oddball sizes like eight millimeter. I mean, I know that's the uh, that's the proper. Oh, look at that M8, 1.25. We got the die. Ain't got the holder. Yeah, typical. The sharpie don't lie. That looks about right. 4041, oh, AKA. 
to you marketing wanketeers. Chrome only. Moving on now to the machinist approximator portion of our show. We got a reverse engineer disc. We're looking at about 11 and a, oh, <laughs> rookie mistake. Zero your calipers. Yeah, we're good this time. We'll do that about 12 millimeters of thread. We'll do eh, 31 millimeters a shank. I don't want to alarm you. This is creepier than Uncle Hansy feeding you a Christmas punch. The right chuck on the machine for the work at hand. This has never happened in the history of mankind. I don't know whether to jump for joy or run for the hills. You see those little blips there? That's where I messed up. I let it get hot and then cool. This is chrome all This will harden like tool steel. It'll get super hard. And then the carbide's got to break through. And you see, you need that additional cutting force to break that chip when it kind of tweaks over because the machine's so small. So I got to watch that. I got the 13 and a half millimeter diameter for the head of the, the, the pin, the threaded pin. But I got to get 11 point something for the shoulder now. Then I got to go in there and do uh, another little cut in at nine and a half. I got to come in and do this purely cosmetic little slot. You'll know what I'm wearing gloves around turning. It is the thing. I'm not crazy enough to put my hands anywhere near rotating equipment. So the thing is these chips are smoking hot and they, they kind of burn my skin. Hey, there's one melted right in. Hurts. We got all the detail profiles on this side, so we're going to change the angle of the dangle so we can get all the details on the other side. These uh, quick change tool posts, super convenient because you're invariably just doing a quick little change. I think that's why they named them that. I got to get the angle correct for that bushing clamp, that little roller, otherwise. I might crush the frame. Highly technical stuff here. Ah, uh, yeah, just another little quick change. I'm stroking out on the live center here. I gotta change this dingus into something longer. I reach right in there. I say longer? I misspoke. I meant shorter, but pointier. <laughs> we welcome to the home shop machine shop. You never have the right insert or tool for the job. It's uh, yeah, it's for aluminium. It's still carbide. We'll try. Now we're at the real hard part. 
All we got to do is finish it up without fucking up. I just got to carry this, uh, what you call it, double the radius right along the periphery. I still haven't figured out how I'm going to hold the die, but we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Getting close, coming right along, pushing that five millimeter drill bit in there for, uh, you know, for the hex head. And since we're doing so well, why not make it more complicated and totally fuck it up? We're going to go in there and, and drill that itty bitty titty hole. I think it's a three millimeter thread pitch. We'll see, well, before I drill it, we'll see if I got the tap. In, uh, he's in Korea, actually. Hell of a time trying to find pipe taps. Any strangers in a strange land. Always nice to have a, a handy behind the dumpster. Three millimeters, we'll give those a try. We're gonna hand tap this in the machine because reasons. Wiener Schleiden? Yeah, bitte. This ain't that fancy uh, Deutsch Wiener Schleiden though. They charge euros for that, euro dollars. This is the Wiener Schleiden with the I before E, the knockoff stuff we have here in Canada. Let's do one of these. Until she catches. Yeah, and we break the chip. First we break the chip, and then we break the tap. Even a blind dog steps in a turd once in a while. Safit come the god OJ Simpson. Mit Kraut? Yeah, Peter. Torques, very light broaching, meaning this is torque limiting. <laughs> you strip this out if you try and reef on her. Part of the reason I did that was because I was dumb and I, I threaded that hole prior to actually broaching. And of course that brooch makes a big chip when you're, uh, when you got that hex in there, you know, you see the bottom and it's all covered up. I'd have to re-drill that, re-top it, yada, yada, yada. So seeing as how this is only going in but the one time, and never coming out, I thought I'd just use a Torx. Uh, Got her chucked up in the vise, or uh, rather the chuck. We're just gonna clean it up, tidy it up, and then we'll paint it black. No one's the wiser. Old pin from Germany, fucking garbage. New one from Canada, Skookumers Frig. They even put some red lipstick on there. I know, I. Can't give him too easy of a time. I will tell him to heat the bolt up before he tries to get it out ever. But uh, what are the odds he remembers that? Be very, very quiet. A wifey's asleep. We're back in to do the job proper. 
Black Molly. Little tip, just the tip mind, and only for a minute from heavy industry. You got yourself a $10,000 carbon frame bike, which sounds like a, an old wood stove creaking and groaning in the joints. You don't go in and buy yourself any kind of boutique bicycle lubricant. It costs you 20 times as much as it should. They've been using this for 150 years. It's molybdenum disulfide goop. Just for God's sake, learn from my mistake and keep it off your wife's couch 14 newton meters what's that about 12 apples on the end of a 10 inch long these bikes i don't know strike me as kind of fucky might be because i don't know what i'm doing nah eh? even got the custom strain relief <laughs> no good deed goes unpunished thanks for watching keep your dick well away from these German mountain bikes. Okay, alle ähm, Mountainbiker von der Schweiz nie British Columbia besuchen. Das ist ein Scheiß. Äh, die Leute sind unfreundlich. Äh, wird das, äh, das Geld wird geklaut. Trails hat es kein. Äh, Außer die Whistler, dort hat es zwei, drei. Und sonst gar nicht erst auf äh, Kanada kommen. Look at this, I just suckered this guy out of a six pack of beer.